here we have our YouTube question. An uh, interesting one though, so kind of be, be careful. So here you have air trapped in the glass bubble. Okay, blah, blah, blah. This is the, how the picture looks like. What is, what are we looking for? The pressure of air in the glass bulb. So we're looking at this thing here, what's the pressure? They give us a bunch of equations and we're supposed to prove it. So stay calm. I'm going to show you the full working. It gonna, it's going to look long, but when you're actually doing this, do this during exam, it can be faster. So anyway, when you see YouTube, the first thing you want to think about is what are all the pressures and forces involved here? If we split the YouTube in half, like this, ching, you cut it, use it as our reference point, and we say, okay, there's a left arm and there's a right arm. What are all the forces acting on the mercury? On the left side, for example. Because here to here, we consider the same pressure. So let's start with the left side. We have a force due to water, the weight of water pressing down. Uh, if you're wondering, what water means? Nee? All this, this column of water is pressing down on the YouTube. It's open tube, right? So this whole column of water pressing down. So we got to write that out. FW. <clears throat> what else do we have? Oh, yes. Atmospheric pressure. Don't forget the air. There's another column of air. You can draw it all the way up. Also pressing down on the YouTube. So F air. Okay, we're going to ignore this column of mercury here because it's going to be the same as the other side, so we can ignore that. They both cancel out later. So force, how is force related to pressure? Pressure is force per unit area. So force is pressure times the cross-section area of this U-tube. So I guess if you draw a, a circle, that's the cross-section area. So pressure of water plus pressure of air. This is the all the... Forces and pressure acting on the left side. Oops, forgot my A's. How about on the right side? What are the total forces and pressures at play here? On the right, what do we have? We have firstly the air, which exerts a force down on the mercury, thanks to its certain pressure. So force of air. Ooh, I should change this to atmosphere. If not later, I will confuse. ATM, how about that? Atmospheric pressure. So F of air plus F of, oh, look at this. You have a tiny little column of mercury pressing down on the YouTube, on the other mercury part. So this, let's call this pressure of mercury. Okay, so from mercury, that we have another force acting on it. And of course, we change everything to pressure. We have the pressure of air times cross-section area plus pressure of the mercury times cross-section area. So that's all the things involved on the left side, on the right side. Now, what do we do next? Since we know this mercury is not oscillating, it's not flying out, spitting out, it's just there, you can say all these forces, all these pressures are in equilibrium. Left arm, right arm. Let's list those out. Let's equate them, actually. So on the left side, what do we have? We have pressure of water times area, pressure of atmosphere times area equals to pressure of air and pressure of mercury. So pressure of air, pressure of mercury. I'm writing out every single step so you can see this out. Now, everything has the same area, right? Is the YouTube getting fatter or thinner? No, cross-section area is the same. So you can divide every term by A and it's gone. Bye-bye. What's left is pressure of water, pressure of atmosphere, and pressure of air on the right side, and pressure of the mercury on the right side. From here, we need to do some magic. Not magic. We need to rearrange because we want these equations right here, right? So you got to think about how can we go from this step up here to that step. Let's try substituting values. So pressure of water. How do we find the pressure of water? The main idea here is the concept P equals to rho GH. Pressure at the bottom due to a column of fluid on top of it. Okay, so what's a column? Nah, I said this highlighted here is the column of water that is exerting a pressure on the mercury down there. So how, how, how tall is this column of water? The hint is right here. Height of water. 
Oh, so we know density of water, rho g h or rho h g, gravitational constant times the height of the water. You can draw it like as a column of water like this, but um, this thing. So that's the amount pressing down. Mm, what else? Atmospheric pressure. Well, they gave us a value P, so we can just write P. Okay, good start. How about the pressure of the air? Oh, that's what we're trying to find. Right. So let's just keep it there. As it is, air. Now, pressure of the mercury. What do we have? PM. Ah, oh, so this also can be another place where we apply our knowledge of a column of mercury pressing down on everything else down there. So pressure due to that column of mercury will be density of mercury G times how tall is that height? That's the, right here. Ah, HM, height of mercury. Ta-da! So we got, we got somewhere. Let's try rearrange to s express for density of air. Sorry, pressure of air since that's what we're finding. So pressure of air will be rho w g h w plus p minus rho m g h m. Man, that is such a long equation. I'm going to go take a look and see if we already have an answer right here. So there should be three terms in the equation. So I can cancel out C and D. So because only two terms. Now there's three terms there. What do we have? Post plus pressure. Okay. Plus rho W H W. Okay, so we check this too. Okay. Oh, but then this part is the tiebreaker. Minus the pressure due to mercury. So this one. Ah, this is correct. This one wrong. So correct, correct, correct. So the best answer you can use here is B. So remember, stay calm. Whenever you see YouTubes, figure out what's on the left, what's on the right, and equate them. Now, this is the full working, but you really don't need to show this. As long as you can do this right side part, this step, let me start for you. If you can do this step onwards, you're good. Because this is, I mean, you don't need to show your working. Lah. So here, if you can do this step, automatically, it will save you a lot of time and you will get you to the answer. All right. So that is all for this video. Any doubts, just comment below. So for this question, see you in the next question.